you know, tough season for Leeds. Currently sat right down there in the above the, the table and be looking to, but they've got some players that make some performances. Um, Mo Williams averaging over 10 points a game. Um, and, and, other, and, and the returning George Brownell as well, a former teammate of yours, he'll be trying to make sure something happens tonight against his brother's team. Yeah, I mean, we've got, you know, Sinai on there too. <laughs> we've got uh, Sinai averaging 14 points and 10 rebounds, you know, so, you know, he's having a good season too for them guys. So, you know, they're dangerous, you know, they've had, they've had a rough time, but the capable of, of a, uh, a lot more than they've shown so far. And for the Sharks, they looking to bounce back. You, I'm sure you've been involved with the team since since Friday's loss. Um, a lot of bit, lot being said, or just get back on track. Yeah, we, you know, they watched the whole game, so you know they'll be looking to bounce back. So here we go, the fly force pulling the ball there. Chris Alexander up against the Souza. Ball goes in the high there. Comes to the middle to Souza again. Shot clock counting down, goes to the middle. Kicks it out wide and oh. Dirk Williams comes over the top there and gets a block on Isaac Muria. Yeah, aggressive start by the Sharks. You know, see they're up for it today, but uh, Leeds will pretty well organized and interesting to see where we go from here. Ball comes in, they get it up in the air and the offensive rebound there. Ends up in George Brown, he kicks it inside, but the turnover there puts it, ends up in the Sharks' hands. And Mackie McKnight comes down the floor. With Mars and the ball looking to move. Comes into Tony Rublicki, goes up against the big man, spins away and off the glass. And the Sharks head out. First to score. D'Souza manages to pick that up, comes to the middle but kicks it out, but McKnight with the steal, he goes to the hoop and lays it in, oh. and gets the foul off Muria. Sharks coming out of the blocks quick. Yeah, they looked up for it, you know, they looked good warming up and, um, you know, they just need to keep this going now. Like we said, they had two, two poor performances so far this week, so they'll want to bounce back. Makes the bonus, McKnight. Some full court pressure here from the Sharks. D'Souza kicks it over to Brownell. Comes back in. Force moving the ball, get it to the big man who lays it in. Nice basket there for Mo Williams. Marsden up against his old team. Trying to get position there, back in the post. Turns around, fades away with the jump shot. Doesn't get it to drop. Williams pulls in the rebound. Ball gets kicked opposite to Murray, oh. but Dirk Williams, twice in a row there, just comes flying out of the sky. Gets a hand on that. You know, he's showing why he's, he is literally a human highlight reel, that guy, and, you know, that's two in a row now. Paul Maria. No no big reaction from Williams, though, just all business tonight so far. Brown on now gets in the corner, he feeds it into Williams, spins baseline, jumps back out, strong move there from Williams for the two. Yeah, Williams had a good start to the game, big body using it well, you know, just keeping it simple and, uh, you know, keeping it a, a, cl a close game so far. Chris Alexander puts it inside to Tony Rublicki, his baseline. Marsden with the fake, gets to the middle, spins back inside, loses it. And the force come up with the ball, it's with Brownell. Keeps the dribble alive, but gets it inside there. Makes the move, doesn't drop there for Sinani. And foul called. On the force. See the Sharks inbound the ball. Chris Alexander steps to the middle, pulls up, knocks down the two.
some more pressure down the floor. It's with Muria. He's seen Dirk Williams a few times up close already in this game. Saw him again there. More Williams now looking to go big. Spins away off. Tony Rublicki doesn't get it to drop this time. The ball comes down the floor. It's with Williams. Pulls up for three. Doesn't drop. But Marsden rips it. Can't quite jump ball there, but the Sharks get it back with the arrow. Dirk Williams goes baseline. Little bounce pass there, kicks it back out. The pop Ooh. up there from yeah, Tony Rimlicky. He's been it with the left hand tonight so far. He's looking good. Looks in control. Inside Williams there, the big man cuts to the hoop and gets the pass. All six points for lead so far from the big man, Mo Williams. McKnight there just gets the foul. Sees the space, pushes into it. Gets the foul call. D'Souza goes off for the force. In comes Cameroonis. Shark just moving around. Alexander though pulls inside, fires a pass into Rublicki there, sees him underneath, who pulls up, doesn't get the drop down. Force pull it in through Sinani. Camarunas kicks it out for the three, doesn't go there for Sinani. And McKnight now comes down the floor. Finds Mars and underneath who goes under the basket and lays it in off the glass. You just feel Marco, the Sharks just in control at the moment, just pacing the game out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, call for a travel there. Uh, yeah, they, they, they look like they could go up another gear or two yet still. Um, you know, I think, you know, they've had a tough week so far, the Sharks, so I think they're just easing themselves into this game and I think, you know, I think there's still definitely a lot more to come. Rublicki with the ball now, feeds it into Marsden. Comes out all the way out to Dirk Williams. Looks to go baseline, can't find a gap there. Kicks it opposite to Alexander, he uses the screen there from Marsden and sends as the player's fighting through the screen, goes the other way and pulls up and hits the two. Sharks stretching it out now to seven. Sinani kicks it opposite. George Brown now goes to the middle, drives into the big man there, his own man, and turns it over. And oh, we were all excited <laughs> then for a second. We wouldn't. We all went quiet because we thought something big was going to happen. I think everyone in the arena took a breath then for a second, but foul call there will send Dirk Williams to the line. Zach Gachette and Rolls Tyson coming in for the Sharks. Seeing Marsden. And Chris Alexander go out. And the big man, Mo Williams, has gone out for Leeds. <laughs> Williams hits the first. And the second. Nine point lead for the Sharks. Kanuni throws it on his back, kicks it out. Little pick and roll there to rest, comes inside, but the force team can't hang on to the ball and the Sharks come down the floor. And the fast running Zach Gachette leads the break. Dirk Williams just hands it off to him. Yeah, that was better from Leeds though. They had some nice ball movement there, you know, just couldn't, couldn't quite catch it at the end, but no, that was a lot more positive from them and they look good, they look good. But the Sharks just a little bit more clinical at the offensive end there, on the break, making the layups count, getting the finish and 
leading by 11 with just over four minutes left in this first quarter. And you'd be happy from a Sharks team is the performance that you would have expected. A team fighting for a top four position against a team in the bottom half of the table. You would hope that they would come out and be strong from the beginning. Yeah, they're looking good, especially defensively. And that's leading to, like we said, um, a lot of easy, easy buckets on the break. Uh, but like you said, yeah, you know, the Sharks have got to sh put these performances in against the teams lower in the table because, you know, if you want top four aspirations, playoff final aspirations, that's what, you, you know, they've, that's what they've got to do. And uh, so far, so good. And the Leeds team, just, you know, they offense looks okay, just can't quite get that clinical finish, can't keep their hands on the ball when, it, when they need it in the crucial position. So it lost a few, few turnovers that they didn't need to make. Yeah, I think, you know, credit to the Sharks, so they're, they're playing well defensively, putting them under pressure, speeding them up. And, uh, you know, they managed, managed to get a few turnovers. But, you know, if, if, if Leeds settle down, run the plays, you know, I'm sure they'll get some success later in the game. Teams heading back out onto the floor. Well, Williams back in for the force. Kavunis now goes hard on the dribble. Resets the play. goes in, puts it inside to Sinani, who goes up with a little floater, doesn't drop. Mounier gets one off this time and gets it to drop. The big hands of Dirk Williams doesn't get a piece of that one. Sakrashek goes to the middle, drops it down. Nice finish. More Williams coming at him there, but he makes the finish. Murien air feeds it in to Sinani. He's going up against Tony Rablicki. Goes around there. Doesn't get it to drop there, but a foul called. On Rolls Tyson. Basket good given there. I think Zach Gachet got, they just spotted, Zach Gachet went up after the shot had gone up and just knocked it away. And I think they thought that that was still active there. So, basket good. Sends an to the line for the bonus. Knight there finds it open, kicks it to Gachet, who finds Marzen leave nowhere to go, kicks it back out to Gachet, and he hits a three from the corner. Yeah, you just feel like after this past week, even though the Sharks weren't great as a team, Zach Gachet was someone who was pretty consistent over the two games and, you know, shot pretty well, and he's bringing that into this game too, which is good to see. Force just managed to keep hold of that there. But Zach Gachet gets the steal as they try and force it inside through D'Souza. Opposite comes all the way back out to McKnight, puts a shot up, fakes it. Oh, he goes to the big man, and Sonani says, No, <laughs> not today. Way, not today. Zakashek like comes off the curl, doesn't get it to drop, but McKnight pulls the offensive rebound in. He finds Mars, and who pulls up, doesn't drop. And Mo Williams grabs it for the force. Sonani again now. Kavunis comes down the middle. Tough take. Lays it in. Rolls Tyson going up against the big man. The D'Souza coming in oh. for the steal. And it just enough to put... Rolls Tyson off, lost the dribble there. Opportunity maybe tonight for Coach Lyons to give some of his bench more minutes than they would normally get, Marco? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this year on the Sharks, you know, other than arguably Jacob Cawthorn, most guys have played fairly good minutes, but you just feel like the younger guys, Ed Brown or Jacob Cawthorn, 
you know, and Rolls Tyson even, you know, they can if they can get significant minutes tonight along with James Mitchell, and uh, that'd be good for everyone if they get confidence up too, because it'll only help the squad in the long run. Mo Williams there spots the big man there, but the, sh the shot clock counts out. The Sharks rotation there, ending up with Mackie McKnight guarding one of the big <laughs> guys, and Mo Williams did a good job in spotting that and fight it to to Sinani, but just the shot clock there kicked in in time. Nice little split from Chris Alexander. Zach Gachette hits another three. The Sharks out to a 12 point lead. To Souza there just keeping the ball alive. It's out to Kavunas, goes into Sinani, just loses that but gets it back up against Marsden, spins away. Pulls up for that, nothing there. And Rolls Tyson keeps the ball in, finds Gachette. Alexander crosses over, goes to the middle. Oh, nice find. Good ball moving from the Sharks. An offensive rebound there by Rolls Tyson off the Dirk Williams. Three miss. Shot clock's counting down. Dirk Williams goes all the way down, finds a way up to the ring, <laughs> up to the backboard there. More Williams, no way around that man. No. And he comes down the oh. middle. Almost a block from Rose Tyson. Good finish by Mo Williams. Mo Williams definitely being the threat. I think that's eight points so far in this first quarter. Chris Alexander just holding the ball a little now. Just a slight differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Pulls up, doesn't drop, but Rolls Tyson gets the rebound and tips it in. And a solid first quarter from the Sharks, 27 points to 15 from the force, Marco. And I think lots of people would have predicted that before the start of the game, but the Sharks not having the best of times over the last two. Good, solid first quarter for them to come out to. Yeah, 27 points, a lot of points for one quarter. Um, you know, the Sharks probably feel like 15. They could have done a better job than that on the defensive end. But, you know, credit to Leeds Force. They played, they've played some good basketball. You know, they, 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 they don't look out of depth at all. And uh, it's up to the Sharks now to carry on with this professionalism and, and, you know, see the game out. So when we come back for the start of the second quarter, the DBL Sharks leading 27-15 over the Leeds Force. Welcome back, everybody. Just coming up to the start of the second quarter, DBL Shark Sheffield leading 27-15 over the Leeds Force. And in that first quarter, the highlight filming himself of Sakashet, four minutes, ten points. Uh, great little spell from Sakashet there in that first quarter for the Sharks. And then eight points for Mo Williams and the Leeds Force. So the, you know, the offensive threats on both ends, but the Sharks have been comfortable so far. Yeah, you just feel like Sharks got another level to go yet. Um, you know, but on both ends, really. And uh, I'm sure we'll find out this quarter. D'Souza finds Kavunis. Sinani going up against Mars and spins inside. Gets the foul. Finish. Nice finish. Great finish by Sinani there. Timeout called there. By the Sharks, I think. 
must have seen something there yeah. that he wants to change, Marco. Something something wasn't happy with that first uh, opening play. And the Sharks now. So, is Marco, you think, just to chat about the Sharks for a second, your team, they've got to come back now, make a strong run in, in the playoffs. P important time coming up. There's a bit of a break, I think, yeah. for the Sharks. Just Mike Tuck's away um, with England duty that's about to start as well so exciting times for the for, for the BBL but for the Sharks your you hope what are your ambitions you know I think as a team the big key for this is to try and go undefeated this month uh, we, had, we had a bit of up and down last month I mean we had, we, we had some really good performances but those last two games this week were uh, you know disappointing to be honest with you and uh, it's gonna be you know as a team we're hopeful that we can have, we can push on now have a really t a strong month look forward to talk returning towards the end uh, hopefully he does well out in Australia first and then you know, we can crack on come playoff time and then, you know, give it, you know, have a good shot. I think, you know, as a team, we're confident that we can go on a great run. Eddie Brownell comes into the game for the Sharks, coming back from a back injury. Sadani makes the bonus, brings it back to single figures for the force. Rolls Tyson now. Finds Gachette, can he keep the scoring run going? Not that time. Mo Williams pulls in the rebound for the force and it's with Cavudus, fires it through the middle to Sonani who can't keep hold of it. I think he'd made the pass before he got hold of it. Zach Gachette comes all the way down the middle. Lays it off the glass for two. just slowing it down. Sonani kicks it opposite to Cavunis who throws it into Williams who goes up against. Yeah, a bit of a high elbow there. Uh, unfortunate, good, unfortunate. Good, good spot there by my co-commentator. Well, Williams not complaining about the call. Good, just t going down the other end, making sure he's ready for the, de for the defensive job he's got to do now. Chris Alexander now goes down the floor. Zach Gachette gets it to Rolls Tyson who pulls up. Doesn't drop and D'Souza again looking as he comes down the floor trying to f advance the ball. Big screen by Mo Williams sees Kavunas come. Ball's fed inside to Sonani, doesn't drop. Gets his offensive rebound though, kicks it all the way back out. And Kavunas pulls up for three. Doesn't drop and Eddie Brownell gets the rebound. And Kavunas there reaching in, gets the foul. And George Brownell comes in for the, sh for the I nearly said for the, the Sharks, sharks then. <laughs> for the Leeds force. Matching up against his brother, that'll be an interesting one for everybody to watch. Yep. And puts it on the floor this time. Chris Alexander pulls up for three. Doesn't drop, but nice the offensive tip. tip there by Marsden. Gets it back out to Gachette, who pulls up for three. Oh, this just, time. Yeah, you just feel like Zach's, you know, Zach's, you know, Sharks can take the time a little bit more. They're rushing a little bit, taking shots that they don't maybe have to. Uh, you know, they need to slow down. You know, if they keep doing that, Leeds are going to, you know, capitalise on the mistakes. And, you know, they, they can't really afford for him to do that. Oh, nice still from Marsden. Nice spin there from Marsden, just took the def defence the wrong way, lays it in. Sharks out to 13. Steal there from Chris Alexander. And the Sharks just turning up their defensive intensity at the moment. And Zach Gachette hits another oh, jump shot. Just about gets it to four. The pressure here coming. But Williams, the big arms, finds it through, and Chris Alexander jumps in front. Gets the steal there. Zach Gachette from outside, feeling it, thinks he... Chris Alexander goes to the middle there, can't find anybody to pass to.
Tony Rablicki coming back in and Mackie McKnight for Zach Bichette and Rick Marsden. Kavunis now with the ball. Gets to the middle, pulls it back out to Murier. Shoots the three, doesn't drop. And McKnight gets the ball, he pushes it down the floor. Kavunis there just leaning in a little bit too much. Tyson goes up against Apple Yard. Apple Yard pick up a quick foul there. Ex uh, junior shark came through the shark system. Tyson hits them both. He's in guard of the game and Jimmy Mitchell come in for the Sharks. And the Sharks a little bit full court pressure here now. Muria with the ball. Kavunis finds Brownell out there up for the three. Doesn't drop. Muria get manages to get all of it. Force resets inside with Williams. Nice pick and roll there from Williams. And Kavunis there just gets Williams going to the basket. Makes the two. Ugh. Offensive foul there called against. George, Eddie Brownell, sorry, not George Brownell. Yeah, Eddie Brownell. It's moving screen, I think. Well, charge, I suppose, but. Maria finds Williams, gets the ball over the halfway line. Double team comes there. Appleyard kicks it all the force, moving the ball around to Brownell, doesn't drop, and Jimmy Mitchell with the rebound. Screen there by Tony Riblicki kicks it opposite. Oh, Eddie Brownell fires it inside to Tony Riblicki. Oh, good the pressure Rooney. from the Sharks. Good pressure there from the Sharks, forcing the turnover. Well, Williams going out of the game, seems Sinani come back in. Five minutes left here. In the second quarter, Alexander puts it into Tony Rublicki, goes underneath, tries to go up off the backboard there, doesn't get it to drop. Foul there called on Mackie McKnight, who was trying to get out of the way, I think, there. Kevin has been pretty alive out there tonight, so I think his team could do with him getting back up. Yeah, he was looked steady with the ball in his hands, but I think he's going to have to go off now. Gonna go and get looked at. Subs coming back in there. See D'Souza come back on the floor. Trying to find it in 
inside. Muria now from outside. Doesn't get it to drop. I think he's looking for Dirk Williams every time he gets the ball. <laughs> Just want to make sure he's on the bench. Don't worry. Chris Alexander comes down the middle, pulls up. Ooh. Gets nothing there. Maybe George Brown will got a little bit of that then, maybe. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, Brown on Brown. The switch there comes in, and Sinani punishing the Sharks there. Eddie Brownell drives hard, oh, nice. finds oh. McKnight. He can't quite keep hold of it. Nice pass there from Brownell. Dirk Williams coming back in. Eddie Brownell going out. Puts it into Sinani, who spins, goes up, doesn't drop. Dirk Williams pulls it in. And the Sharks off to the races. Jimmy Mitchell driving hard, goes nice to take. the basket. Force get the ball over again. Chris Alexander trying to pick Mourier's pocket. To Susan out, coming round. Sonani now goes up, oh, does everything right there, just can't finish it, but Muriel pulls the ball in, and it's with Brownell, hits the three. That is one thing George Brownell can definitely do, if he gets wide open that three-point line, more often than not, that's going to drop. Oh, nice pass there from oh, Tony nice Rablicki. Tough said. finish from Mitchell there too. Cuts hard from the top, gets the dish, lays it in, Jimmy Mitchell. Oh, Chris Alexander nearly reading that there, but George Brown will pull it in. Shot clock counting down. Souza goes up, doesn't drop. Ball goes out of bounds and timeout called. I don't think the t players know there's a timeout being called. A little bit of confusion there on court. Timeout called by the Leeds Force there. The Sharks leading by 16, 41 25. And just a solid performance by the Sharks. Yeah, yeah, solid. Some players think they could have done better. Feel like they've rushed a little bit, a few shots. You know, whenever they've moved the ball, something to do with two games, they've found a lot of success. But, you know, in a game like this where they're expected to win, maybe guys are rushing just a little bit. But now they've looked good for the most part. For Leeds have had glimpses where they've looked good too. Um, so, you know, it's going to be an interesting end to the half, and then we'll see what the second half brings. Team's heading back out onto court now. Two minutes 17 left here in the second quarter. Sharks comfortable throughout so far. Feel like the Sharks, if they wanted to, could turn up a couple of gears. But yeah, I think definitely. But I mean, they've not looked bad. Uh, but I think they, they could have looked better. But maybe that's credit to Leeds. Maybe, you know, they've, they've, they've done a decent job defensively, putting pressure on the guys. So uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. McKnight with the ball again. Dirk Williams calls for the screen. Pulls up. Nice. Knocks down the two. The Susan now. Williams back in the game. Had a break out there. Goes into Sonani. 
And Susan L steps back, puts up the two, knocks Tough it down. Shot. We've seen what the Dirk Williams can do defensively already tonight, so credit to him for hitting that shot over uh, over the tall Dirk Williams. Dirk Williams now goes to the middle, kicks it out to McKnight, who finds Jimmy Mitchell. Who good ball movement from the Sharks. He's Tony Rablicki shoot for three, doesn't drop. George Brown who pulls the ball in for the force. Shoots a long three there. Under a minute to go now here. McKnight spins back in, finds his own screen. <laughs> but pulls up from outside. Doesn't drop. Williams there, steps inside, gets the seize. Easy call for the referee there, Tony Rablicki reaching yeah. in. Probably got hit a few times then to be fair to him, so. Rolls Tyson back into the game. Just under 30 seconds to go here. Sousa finds Willi uh, sorry, Brownell in the corner. Good hustle there from Sinani who pulls up. Oh, Williams there, spins oh, in, nice spins move. out. Nice basket there. Three seconds, shot clock's counting now. The Sharks there just drifted out that last offense there. No, no. No, they did not look good. They they stopped moving the ball. They were they were trying to go one on five. It did, that wasn't good basketball from the Sharks. You know, credit to Leeds. They've they've reduced the lead back down to 14, and uh, you know they deserve it after that. The Sharks did not look good there towards the end of the second quarter. So the Sharks in control at the moment, but the force definitely not letting them go away. So as we end the half time, the DBL Sharks leading 43-29 over the Leeds force.
Welcome back to EIS Sheffield, where it's the DBL Sharks leading the Leeds Force 43-29. Joined by Sharks player Marco Bakovic. And Marco, first half there, Sharks seem in control, but Force definitely not letting them run away with it. Yeah, you just feel like the Sharks were rushing a little bit towards the end, which allowed Leeds to get back into the game. Um, you know, so the Sharks, they need to they need to slow it down, play at their own pace, whereas, you know, I'm sure Leeds will be wanting to, you know, keep more of the same, really, that, that second quarter. And the Sharks there, Zach Gachette, 14 points. And Mo Williams, the big man, 12 points. And four rebounds to go with it. And the Sharks just at McKnight there, five assists. Sorry, five rebounds, two assists. And just everybody, it, it, the Sharks certainly sharing it all out with the scoring um, and the force relying heavily on at the moment, the two big men, Williams and Sanani. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the, you know, the Sharks, they've spread the minutes out quite well. There's only Jacob Cawthorn to check in yet. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've looked all right. The Sharks have looked all right so far. But we'd, like we both said in the first half, that we feel like they could, there's another gear to come just yet. Alexander misses that one. Sonani gets the rebound. It's with D'Souza. Williams finds Brownell. Marsden there gets it into Williams inside. Who pulls up from the top? Hits that shot. We're a bit lick him out of roll his ankle there or something. Looks in pain. Yeah, picked up a little. I think he got stood on somebody's foot on the rebound. Sees Rolls Tyson come back in. Alexander now pops it over the top off the pick and roll to Marsden. Spins inside, goes underneath. Oh. But Sanani comes over. Makes the block. Good help there from the force. Big man Sanani. Force advanced the ball over the half. It's with Murier. Back to D'Souza now. Screen there from Williams. D'Souza finds it all the way around to Murier. Goes up over Chris Alexander. Doesn't drop. Marsden pulls it in and the sh Sharks come down the floor quickly. And he throws it up to Rolls Tyson and that somehow Alexander comes up with the offensive round, goes back inside, can't find a way through and it gets reversed to Williams who hits the three. Nice, uh, nice patience there after the, uh, after the offensive board. Alexander chasing that down, trying to get another steal there but Williams finding a teammate. Moria nice there, steal uh -oh. from... Wi Bert Williams, this time it goes up, and Williams takes off and throws it down. <laughs> yeah, it makes that look a bit, little bit too easy to get up that high. I'm not sure it was the greatest pass from Alexander, but it didn't matter because he had enough time up there to adjust and make sure it went in. Maria there loses the dribble, turns it over. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't really matter if you mess the pass up a little bit when someone like Dirk Williams is going up there to get it. Sharks out to a 17-point lead. Alexander finds it opposite to McKnight. And Sonali there jumps in front, gets the foul. Picks up his second foul. Rolls Tyson, nowhere to go there. Kicks it out to Williams. He looks inside, doesn't go of it. Finds Alexander. Screen comes from Marsden, who skips off it. But William oh, Alexander nice hits the three off the dribble. The Susan now with the ball. Gets an inside to Sanani. Dirk Williams coming over the top, nearly gets a piece to it, but pulls up for three. Goes hit, touches the shot clock there on the back. Chris 
Prince Alexander there nearly gets the steal. Pushes it out of bounds, forced to get the ball. Chris Alexander there gets a hand on that. Make sure the table officials test their ball skills as well there. Mm -hmm. Throws it up to Williams there, who grab, pulls it in for his team. Pulls in the corner with D'Souza, hits the three. A lot of pressure there from the Sharks. Can't quite make the stop, but the intensity level's there. Chris Alexander goes down the middle, doesn't get the drop, Sonani pulls it in. It's with Mourier, feeling the pressure, the heat coming from Dirk Williams. Sonani there comes down the middle and McKnight comes up with a steal, pulls it down and he throws it up for... And it still comes out in the Sharks' hands there. The follow-up from Rolls Tyson didn't drop. Shark clock's counting now and gets kicked opposite. This time, Rolls Tyson shoots a three. Doesn't drop Williams with the rebound. Yeah, Rolls Tyson just can't get it to drop right now, unfortunately. Mo Williams using his body there to get over the half court line. George Brown goes underneath, finds the Souza opposite. Shark clock's counting now. Williams pulls up, hits a nice jump shot. Nice. Mo Williams, the big man out there at the moment, picking up the scoring workload for his team. Showing he can do it inside and he's got a nice little jump shot too. Mo Williams looking impressive for the force at the minute. McKnight goes into the, finds Alexander in the corner. Doesn't drop. And the quick outlet there. You know, the shot has to stop moving the ball again now. They've started to go a little bit too, too one on one and you know, it's showing in the score. Souza there misses, misses again. Sinani. And the force just throwing it out of bounds there. A lot of good work done by the force there at the offensive end. The Sharks just all stood watching for a while. Yeah, you know, the Sharks got to box out and make sure they get that ball. Sonora Blicky's come back in, must have had that ankle taped. Marsden goes out. It's like Cachette back in the game for the Sharks. Drives to the basket, oh. doesn't drop for him. Force pulling in with Williams out to the Souza. Another turnover there. And there's, what's hurting the Force at the moment is just too many turnovers when they. Yeah, at times it's like almost unforced turnovers too, you know, they're just literally trying to move the ball around and guys are just letting it bounce off their hands and, and you know, all sorts of body parts. It's, you feel like they're almost just rushing a little bit, they're trying to think about the next play more than just catching the ball at the minute. So the timeout called and the Sheffield leading 51-36. 15-point lead for the Sharks, but the force just not letting the Sharks off the hook. They just keep, you know, they, every time they look like they're going to make a run, they just reel them back in a little bit. It's not, you know, still close enough for everybody to be concerned from a Sharks perspective, and the force doing a good job, particularly yeah. Mo Williams. No, for sure. What, what, what Leeds are doing a great job is that Sharks are, you know, getting themselves into trouble by trying to rush almost, and every time the Sharks aren't settling down and moving the ball and they're missing the shots, Leeds have done a decent job capitalising on that and you know, the Sharks need to recognise that, they need to know what's working from what isn't and when we've moved the ball and, and, and ran the plays it's looked good. When we haven't done that and we've tried to revert to doing uh, you know, a lot more one-on-one -on -one stuff, it's, it's, not, it's just not working as well. Sharks players back on court, Coach Lyons just moving some things around there. Big man Williams sat out for a while at the moment for the force. Tony Rablicki there sets the screen, comes inside, misses the 
There's the layup there and feel that the Sharks big men should dominate while Williams is out of the game. D'Souza shoots, doesn't get it to drop. The Sharks come back down the floor. Rolls Tyson kicks it in but can't make it drop. Tries to find Tony Rablicki inside. Williams inbounds it to Rablicki. The bump there comes in, it gets inside. D'Souza there does a good job coming through for the steal, but just pushes it out of bounds. Shot clock counting down. Seven seconds left in this one for the shot clock time for the Sharks. Blicky finds McKnight who pulls up, doesn't drop, gets the rebound. Dribbles out, re the Sharks reset. With Zach Gachet, he's got nowhere to go. He finds Dirk Williams who pulls up and hits the three. Nice three. Sharks needed that. Pressure there coming from the Sharks, but for us with no issues getting it over. Goes into Sanani, finds a double team there. Comes out to Muria, they move it around to D'Souza, puts it on the floor. The fake from Brano gets Sackashet up in the air. And the Sharks pull it in with McKnight. Sharks just resetting again. Nice drive there from Rolls Tyson. Yeah, he almost needs to shoot there. Feels the contact. He's in his two steps. No point in passing that ball off. Go up. You know, that's the difference between taking the ball out of bounds and then getting the two shots. Oh, Jacob Cawthorn coming in for the first time. So all the Sharks team now checked in in this game. Zach Gachet off the curl. Hits that shot here a few times tonight. Out to 20 points now for the Sharks. And the force just hurting themselves at the moment. Another turnover there. Making it easier for the Sharks. They are indeed. Let's see if the Sharks can capitalise on that. McKnight finds Gachette opposite. Who pulls up for three? Doesn't drop. Sonani brings it in. Browner now with it. Gets kicked down to Tsuzu who pulls up for three. Doesn't drop and... <laughs> Rablicki pulls it in and Dirk Williams there looked at maybe the alley-oop play was coming for Zach Gachette and I think he just yeah. lost the dribble and decided I need to take it all the way myself. I think Zach wanted it, but you know, tough finish from Dirk. George Brano shoots the three, doesn't drop. Great job there by Jacob Cawthorn, holds off Sanani and who has to foul to try and get that one. The Souza comes out, goes out, Appleyard comes back in. Dirk Williams now crossing over. Finds Jacob Corso and who makes a layup. Nice offense from the Sharks there, a lot better than uh, some other ones that we've seen so far. Sasani just moves him out there, but does a good job. Williams back in, big man. Trying to get some, letting his team know he wants a pass. George Brown all there, kicks it out to Appleyard who pulls up for three. Crawford gets the rebound with Williams now. Oh. 
chance. Coughed that one up there. Maria kicks it opposite to Brownell. Looks for the three. Sonani there just to put, could put that back but doesn't get it. And the Sharks come up with the ball on the end line. Yeah, Sonani's been quite unfortunate for you tonight. He's got himself in, himself in some nice positions, but for some reason just can't get the ball to drop tonight. Played a lot of minutes for his team. Maybe just needs that quarter break just to refresh. Tony Rablicki now. Call from there, just oh, travel. Just call. Didn't quite get the ball down in time there. Sharks now a little bit of full court pressure here. George Brown will taking care of things. Like the shit there, just mixing it up enough for him to think about it. Great pass inside there. That Williams couldn't quite get it to Sonani. Another turnover, giving the Sharks another chance to score. 6.7 left. McKnight now with the ball. Puts it on the floor. And Zach Gachette out to take it, nearly makes it. Right from the corner there, doesn't quite drop for Zach Gachette. And the Sharks there coming out in the third quarter, Marco, and just imposing themselves a little bit more on the game, take it out to a 24 point lead, 60-36. Yeah, they just looked a lot more, they, they, like, we said, like, we've, well, like we've said every game this week so far, when they've moved the ball, they've looked like a lot better, uh, they've looked like a lot better side, and they did a lot better job that quarter, just moving the ball, taking the time, not rushing not throwing up unnecessary shots and uh, no, it looks a lot better, a lot better. So when we come back, start the final quarter here in EIS Sheffield, the DBL Sharks 60, the Leeds Force 36. And here we are at the start of the fourth. Force with the ball through Muria. Comes into the big man Williams. He throws it over the top. Oh, hits the ring. It's Appleyard pulls it back in. And Williams now with the jump shot. He's not missed from that distance tonight. Oh, he's got a really consistent jump shot for a man of his size. And he's, he's looked good value for it. Takes him out to 18 points for Mo Williams. Sharks on 60. It's with. Rublicki out through Cawthorn to Dirk Williams. It's like the Sheck comes to the middle, pulls up, doesn't drop, but Tony Rublicki gets it. He oh, goes he up, can't get doesn't drop. drop. Sinani pulls it in. Just feel a little bit that the game's just slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Maria there finds Williams, who's Definitely trying to go the two oh, big somehow. men, and somehow Sonani comes up with that. 
two big men there for force, trying to always work together. So main scoring threats coming from there. Brown now with the ball for the force. Puts it into Williams. Travel called there against Williams. Williams now for the Sharks. Pulls up for three. Hits it. Hitting some more points there, takes him out to 17. Good pass there from Brownell to Sinani, just fires it through a little gap there inside. Gachette finds Rablicki inside, he's had easier shots to make than yeah. that tonight that he's missed, and that one he makes, so... Williams there in the middle, gets it over the half for his team. Murray gets it into Sinani. It's going up against Rablicki. Comes through the middle, goes with a nice little hook, and it drops for him. Yeah, Sinani's found his touch now. He was having difficulty earlier in the game, but looking a lot more consistent. So Williams now up against Appleyard there. Nowhere to go on the baseline. Marsden pulls up for the jump shot, knocks it down for two. Lead by 25, the Sharks. Mm. Oh, Williams nearly getting a piece to that, but gets it back. And Appleyard from the corner, doesn't get the three to drop. And Chris Alexander puts the burners on, he comes down the floor, throws it up for Zach Gachette. Seconds there, just turned on the court. The Alexander puts the pressure on. Oh, good steal from Marsden. Marsden there gets the steal. The foul comes. Send Marsden to the line for two. Jimmy Mitchell coming back into the game. Nice spell from Dirk Williams there. Makes them both, Martin is out to 29. D'Souza back in the game. Alexander nearly getting a piece of that then then. Brownell pulls up for three. Will Williams with the rebound, puts it back in. Jimmy Mitchell now with the ball, finds Tony Rablicki goes underneath, kicks it into Marston who misses that. The force coming down the floor. Maria Girls tries to go opposite, turns it over with Chris Alexander who fires it down. Ah, silly turnover from the Sharks there. Almost too much time for the Sharks to think about it there and coming down the floor, the pace, nobody, no, not on the same page I think would be. We had described that, but I see the timeout called by the force. And for the Sharks coming up, you know, a few games coming up, Marco, in the near future, just wanting, looking to build on this one? Yeah, I mean, you know, hopefully, you know, I mean, the game pretty much is done, I would say. Um, but they've still got 10 minutes to go, so they need to keep going. Uh, just see it out. And, uh, sorry, 10 minutes, six minutes to go. And uh, oh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, like I said, we need to build on it, take this into the next game, and like I said, try and go eight from defeated. That's the aim for the Sharks, and you know, lead us nicely into the playoffs. Coming up soon, the Sharks away at Newcastle Eagles. A chance for you know you've already gone there this season and picked up a W mark. Marco, is a chance that you need to do that again, and yeah, I'm I mean, sure you, you 
tough place to go to win by for any team. I mean, you know, Newcastle, you know, they've had success for a reason. They've made that place a bit of a fortress. I know that was the first time I've ever been on the bench as a Sharks player and uh, seen, seen the Sharks team win up there. So, uh, but hopefully, you know, we've done it once this season, so I'm sure the guys can feel we can do it again. And, uh, you know, listen, Sharks at the best this season can beat anybody, but the problem is maintaining that best. Jimmy Mitchell with the steal there off the inbound right. and the layup. The pressure coming from the Sharks now, full court. The team's coming there. George Brown just stepping through that, finds Muria, puts it inside to Sinani. Finds more Williams this time, doesn't take it. Brown open to shoot, doesn't drop, and Alexander comes down the floor, wraps it around, finds Zach Gachette open, who doesn't make the two. And Muria there with the rebound for the force. Williams now trying to get it inside to Sonali, that one-two punch. But this time the Sharks come up with a steal again. Jimmy Mitchell now. Fires it inside from Mitchell to Rablicki. Gets it back from Gachette. Good cut from Jimmy Mitchell. Mitchell comes down nice the fire. middle. And then good pass from Jimmy Mitchell. Sees Marsden coming down the middle. Can't make the score. Marston hits the first. And the second sends it out to 31 for the Sharks in the lead, 75-44. Five minutes left in this game. Chris Alexander with the steal. Gets the layup there, good hustle from George Brown. Trying to get back there, got a piece of it. Just. A good finish by Alexander, made sure still. Williams there goes strong against Rolls Tyson, just moves him out of the way. Yeah, Williams had a really good game today. You know, he's had a struggle at times, but he himself has been a, you know, has been a credit to his team and played really well. Nice take from Marsden there too. Nice drive from Rob Marsden there makes the basket. Mitchell there got, gets the rebound that just steps out of bounds. So another rebound nearly gets the steal there off the pass. This sees Eddie Brown will come back in. Only Sharks play yet to score in this one. I'm sure mm. his teammates will try and find him an opportunity. Four minutes left to go. And another timeout, this time called by the Leeds Force. Just over four minutes left in the game, Marco. Opportunity for Coach Lyon to see some of his other players he doesn't get to see a lot of minutes of in game time tonight. He's you think he'd be pleased with what you've seen? Yeah, I think I think you know. I thought Jimmy Mitchell's looked really good out there tonight. He's finished really well. Uh, made some really nice cuts. Uh, you know, like we said, hopefully Eddie Brown can get a few buckets up. Or Jacob Cawthorn check back in. So you know, it's a good opportunity for them guys to prove what they can do to, uh, to coach Lions and you know take it from there really. And Rolls Tyson, he's he's benefiting from Mike Tuck not being around to get a few extra minutes. I mean, that was a big thing, you know. I mean, Mike took such a big player for the Sharks, but with it in, in his absence, someone had to step up. And uh, Solomon knew that this was an opportunity for him. And, you know, so I think he's done a pretty good job, especially earlier in the week. Uh, you know, he had a double-double. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure he'll be looking to build on that against Newcastle too. So the team's heading back onto court here. The DBL Sharks leading 79 to the Leeds Force, 46. 
And just in his second half, the Sharks just keeping, the, the, whether we've just seen our leads could keep, we're keeping the Sharks on the line. The Sharks have bitten through that in this quarter and just at this moment in time, just heading off into the distance. Yeah, the fourth quarter, I'd, I'd say it's been, it's been the Sharks' best quarter. Uh, maybe some fatigue from Leeds playing a part in that, but um, you know they've moved the ball a lot better. Look, found uh, found a, just a better sta standard of shot, and uh, they've looked better for it, as reflected in the scoreline, obviously. Steal there from Murier. Gets the layup there, steals it off Jimmy Mitchell. Brown are now looking inside. See Zach Gachette. Shot clock's counting down. Zach Gachette's got to make something happen. Goes up, doesn't drop for him, and Sinani pulls a rebound in. Foul call there. Pulls up for three, doesn't drop. Sharks come down the floor. Eddie Brown comes to the middle, can't find a way through. Turns it over. To Susan now with the ball, some pressure coming from the Sharks up the floor. Sonani kicks it opposite to George Brownell, shoots the three. An extra touch on the ring, just took it away from D'Souza there, and the Sharks get the rebound. And Zach Gachette goes down the middle. Take goes up. Nice finish there from Zach Gachette. Sonani goes all the way through, gets oh, gets all the way around, but can't can't find the basket there. Kicks it opposite Brown on now with a chance for a three, doesn't drop. Appleyard pulls in the rebound. Susan gets to the middle, kicks it underneath to Appleyard, who tries to find a pass out. Brown who manages to get it, pulls it in, and Sonani reaches, gets the offensive rebound there. It comes all the way back out to D'Souza. Shot clock counting down. D'Souza out to shoot it. Doesn't get anything there. And only if Rolls Tyson can class that as a rebound <laughs> or a steal. We'll yeah. let the stats people count that one. Sykeshet pulls up from outside, doesn't drop. The ball there, just a game. D'Souza coming down the middle, goes up, makes the layup. Tough finish there from D'Souza. Now finds Jimmy Mitchell. Oh, nice shot, just Jimmy! On the line for two. Timeout called there. I think by the Leeds force. Down currently lead, trailing 33. The Sharks just locking up the on the defensive end at the moment for the Leeds, not letting them get any easy baskets at all. Yeah, it's been a tough, it's been a tough uh, fourth quarter for Leeds. You know, they've, they've had the effort, but you know the Sharks stepped up a little bit and they've uh, found it a bit tough to cope. Just 
come back out of this timeout. Well, the Sharks leading the Leeds force, 83 to 50. The big scorers in the game, Zach Gachette with 20. Dirk Williams also scoring big. 17 from Dirk. Mo Williams with a big 22 for Leeds Force too. And he's been the driving force behind that team today. He's the two big men really doing all the, the hard work for the Leeds Force. 11 points from Jimmy Mitchell. Here's Williams back in the game for these last few seconds and he gets it to Simani who says, I'm still here everybody, <laughs> throws it down. Brown out there, a lot of pressure coming, keeps the ball alive. Goes all the way to the middle and Sonani there with the block. Ball comes in, Zach Gachet off the corner turn again. Doesn't drop and the shot clock counting down. And I think that's it for this one, the Sharks winning. 83-52 here at EIS Sheffield. And you just got to think, Marco, just solid performance by the Sharks. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think many expected the Sharks to, to win in a, in a similar fashion at least. And, um, you know, it was a solid performance from the Sharks. You know, Leeds, Leeds showed glimpses of what they can do too. Uh, I'm sure they'll look to build on this as well. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it's a good day for the Sharks after a tough week. So the Sharks come out this one this weekend with a win, 83-52. And coming up this week in the BBL, the British Basketball League, the Newcastle Eagles versus the Worcester Wolves and the London Lions versus the Plymouth Raiders. Two tough games of all those teams vying for playoff positions um, and the Eagles wanting to make sure they secure second place. Yeah, like we said, you know, uh, every game's a big game now. Uh, so all these teams, you know, as well as the Sharks, are, you know, trying to get the best spot they possibly can for the playoffs, and you know, you know, it's going to be a good week of basketball in the BBL. So there we have it. Here we finish here in Sheffield. The DBL Sharks 83, the Leeds Force 52.